Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. We're starting the timer. 10 minutes or less. Jonas, today, I want to talk about a little bit about a predicament going on in China. There's lots of predicaments going on in China. There is. China is going to be killing hundreds of thousands of hamsters. <laughs> They're doing a culling? They're doing a culling of all hamsters. Jonas. All? So in Hong Kong, January 18th, Hong Kong warned people not to kiss, pet, or or touch any hamsters um, after 11 rodents tested positive for COVID-19. Oh. They have stringent rules in Canada right now. China? China. <laughs> did I say Canada? Yeah, you did. <laughs> in China right now okay. about zero like tolerance for COVID laws. Right, right. Yeah, they, I heard they lock people in a building or something yes, the other day. They do. They do. So... Um, Currently, the law is, it's not a law, so it's like, they're telling people to basically give up any pet hamsters that have been gotten, like, over the last, like, year or something, I think it is. Okay. Not exactly so sure they're taking that. little Timmy's hamster away. He's not probably not called Timmy. I don't think it's a common Chinese name. But they're not taking him away. It's an at-will kind of thing. Okay. So it's like you, you're you encouraged to bring your COVID-infested hamster in <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the, the gun turn in at the police station. Like you're yeah. encouraged to bring in your gun. No, yeah. no, uh, no fault of yours. No questions asked, and we'll give you a bag free weed. Of free weed. <laughs> Basically, I mean, hey, yeah, what better way to get it? But yeah, so so they're not necessarily making these people do it, but you know, there's already a lot of turmoil in that area right oh, now. Yeah. And it's, 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 this isn't helping at all. These people are already pissed off. No, so. but I guess my my thought is the first thing you said is they they want people not to kiss them. So. That has to be a problem if they put that, that, they, that one of the rules is don't kiss your hamster. You, you wouldn't kiss your hamster? I have owned a hamster. You never kissed it. I never kissed you it. You never kissed your I, hamster. I actually owned two hamsters and one murdered the other. Yeah, I mean, that's what hamsters do. He <laughs> ate his insides, man. That's it was what, weird, That's dude. what hamsters do, man. Is that what they do? Are they vicious? They're territorial. Okay. But yes, I, I don't know. I've never owned a hamster but, I mean, a lot of people are looking at this like it's a little bit too much. It's too much, like, too stringent of a rule. Too I mean, they have, like, ten times the people we do in one-tenth of the cases. <sighs> are we sure about that, or is that just what they're telling China us? China does not say anything false. Uh -huh. okay. Not at all. Okay, sure. <laughs> You've never owned a hamster? Owned the crime? No, I've never owned a hamster. I had a hamster. The hamster I had had one of them balls where you put it in and let it run around the house. Oh, jeez. And, like, my buddy used to have one, and his hamster rolled down the steps, and uh, he really messed the hamster up. <laughs> Like he just was not the same after that. Like he I was, was like, not the same. No, dude, he was he was he peed in the ball for one. Oh jeez. And then like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what y'all out here giving hamsters CTE. <laughs> that Murdered is his family, That's killed himself, up. all put, because of CTE. Put him in a freaking ring with another hamster where he has to fight to the death and then eat the other hamster to survive. To be fair. When I bought those hamsters, yeah. they gave me no warning that they could potentially hurt each other. And why would you think? I mean, people have rats in a cage. People have all sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah. Rats are social, though. Yeah. I didn't know hamsters were literally, like, murderers. Yeah, I think, uh, well, especially male hamsters because they're, you know, come on. Um, but I think two lions in a cage. Exactly. Two kings of the jungle, man. <laughs> two little, kings of the saw hamster jungle. I don't know if it would have been different if you had gotten a male and a female or even two females, but I do know definitely that two males. I would have had 30 know. hamsters if I got a male and a female. I mean, you can get her fixed, right? Can you can you, can you neuter a hamster? You just have to cull all the babies, I guess. Or oh they kill God. the babies. They, they'll eat them themselves. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hamsters are vicious, man. They'll eat their babies. Dude, I wonder if anyone's ever been murdered by a hamster. I, I mean, if you put it inside you, that's your own doing. Richard Gere? I mean, there's there's tales that he did do that, there's but I don't know if that's video. true. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why a person would want to put a hamster inside them. Honestly, I don't I don't know I don't why get people it. want to put anything living inside them. I mean, I mean, yes. I don't want to <laughs> sound like I'm no way. Oh no 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 no. I'm not trying to say it's that I understand with it, but I mean, I can understand wanting to put stuff in you. I mean, teach their own, I guess. Yeah, but just not like a hamster or... Like a rodent. That seems weird, right? It seems weird. No, it is weird. 
Yeah. It is weird. It's definitely animal abuse, and we are not advocates. No, dude, you don't abuse animals. How many people do you think in China were actually, like, thrilled to death when the government was like, hey, yo, we need you to bring your hamsters in. I know you just got your son and your daughter a hamster for Christmas, but we really need you to turn this hamster over. I bet you a good amount are tired of their kids' room smelling like pee. Mm -hmm. Or find a little hamster pellets in the carpet. A little tiny, they, they poop tiny little hamster pellets. Yeah, what's a common Chinese name? I'm not touching that one. I mean, okay. We'll Why are you going to me to do that? Why we'll, do you, we'll go you, with little Timmy. You're trying to set me up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with little Timmy. So they're all like, little Timmy, did you let your pet hamster, Rockzilla, go into the living room again? <laughs> no, Mom, I didn't. Why did I find unsanitary pellets in my cookie jar? Unsanitary pellets. <laughs> and he says, because it's the, the rats, enough. Mom. You, you got to clean the house. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great story. <laughs> Thank you for that. I, I, honestly, I could picture the family. I pictured them sitting around the, the, the dinner table and uh, discussing the hamster droppings that she found in her coffee grinder. Was, <laughs> I'm assuming it was in the coffee grinder. Yeah, sure. That's the best place to hide your, your turds. I don't know where else I would hide turds. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> Have you ever had, like, mice, dude? Have you ever had, no. like, mice? Like, no. I know some people with old houses, they end up having no. to set, like, mouse traps. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like, I get that. No. But, Gl like, glue traps work really well, too. Glue traps? Yeah, like the little, they're like little glue squares. And the mouse is like, ah! Oh, yeah, they get stuck, dude. You can't touch it. Like, if you touch it, prepare to have a bad night. Oh, really? Yeah, you, like, touch a glue. If you were to take your open palm and put it on a glue trap, you're uh, you, you're going to have a bad night. You got to go to the hospital? I wouldn't say you got to go poisonous? to the hospital. But no, it's sticky, though. It, it, you're going to have trouble getting it off of there. You're going to be, like, for the rest of the night, you're going to be, like, scraping it off with a fork or something. 3M, making innovations for the future. Like, yeah. Like Basically, you're going to lose the top layer of epidermis that's gone. Oh, my God. They're stealing my epidermis you out here? You don't need epidermis anyway. You got plenty of epidermis. You're always making epidermis. Did you find that on Reddit? I found what on Reddit? That article? Um, No, I heard it through one of the podcasts I listened to. Yes, I steal every topic from <laughs> we've ever done wow. from somebody else really <laughs> yes. wow dude I mean, the what truth is, comes out 150 episodes what is down new, the road no sir what is news you you have you ever researched something oh, on oh, your own oh have you ever i hear your I've, journalistic I've integrity yeah i find new stories on reddit or wherever and then i look oh, up, i look up numerous news sources and get the best truth i can bring to all of our fans stolen Stolen. What, I'm not out here talking to people in the streets like, what happened today, Steve? My but, girlfriend peed in my bathtub. Well, guess what, Jonas? That's journalism. That's how freaking journalism works. But so you know what I've when noticed? you bring, when you break a big story and bring it on here, then you can talk crap about me stealing from You're other right. podcasts. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. <laughs> but you know what I've noticed is like, say I'll Google something yeah. and I'll click on like five different sites and it's literally word for word the same article. Like, I'm like, they just copy pasted this whole thing article from source and they don't hey. even say that i'm like hey. and they wonder why anyone thinks that the that the mainstream media is like out here just trying to spread some I mean, truth you're not gonna get them for plagiarism because frankly it's it, it's too hard it, and they're probably all fucking fudge and own from the right company yeah like what you're gonna bring up legal fees because somebody stole your stuff no you know in school you would, <laughs> you get kicked out of school if you copy somebody's work and then outside of work, out of school and work, you're like, whatever, they're taking they're taking copyrighted photos and putting them into PowerPoints and stuff in a professional corporate environment. And you're like, yo, Shutterstock, where, where are you at? Like Shutterstock. You get kicked out of school for putting hamsters in your ass, too. <laughs> do you? You do. I'm just saying. I knew a kid. All right. That's the timer. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to crazy, thecrazytown.com and subscribe to our channel. For Jonas. TNT. Catch you on the next one. We are out.